Good evening, everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Leaf Classes. I am Anjali. Children, as you know, we have started our revision series for 2023 board examinations, and today we are on part number two of this series. And as I told you in part one, we will be doing the mix up of all the questions for section A. And from next turn, from part three, I will be including one program in each part of this series, right? So let's start with the first question. And as you know, we have 10 MCQs, five short question answers in this series in each part. And the first question says, which of the following data type is returned by substring function? Children, substring function is used to extract a part of a string. Substring function se mein kya samajh mein aata hai? Substring, a part of a string. A part of a string will be also which type? String only, right? So the correct answer for this is string. Although char is given, long is given and int is given. And children, here I would like to advise you that please prepare the return data types for all the mathematical character and string functions. Right, children? Which of the following indicates that the method does not return any value? You have done many times public static void main. Sabne likha hai, void main. Void main, main is the function name, void. Hum main mein jab void main likhte hai, do we use any return statement in that? No. So, if the function does not return any value, always before the function name, void is mentioned. So, the correct answer is void. Main nahi likhoge, right? Because don't think ki main kuch return nahi karta hai, to answer main hoga, no. If the function, it is not asking for main. It is asking ki koi bhi function, agar value return nahi karta hai, to return data type kya honi chahiye? It has to be void. Next question says, a function defined with the same name having different parameters. Function ka naam same hai. Many functions with the same name. And uh, this type of programming is also there where we have function overloading. Like area is there. Three functions you are writing with the same name area. But they are differentiated with the number of parameters or the type of parameter. So here also the same thing is asked. A function defined with the same name having different parameters. What do you call this concept in object oriented programming? Yes, polymorphism is the correct answer. Right, children? And uh, the question can come like this. Function overloading is the part of which object-oriented programming concept? Or the question can be uh, polymorphism is achieved by which method? So that is using function overloading, right? So the same question can be asked in different ways. So just prepare that. You should be knowing the logic. You should be knowing everything. And I know you are my children, you are the children of leaf classes and you will prepare 100% in computer application subject and I am there to help you out, right? The next question, what will be the output of the following code? System.out.println 12 plus a plus 13. Now children, if you see here 12a and 13, 12 and 13 are int type, numeric values and a is character type. You know, when the integer addition is there, we can add character to that and that character will not be added as a character. What is added in place of that character value? It's a sky value. So here, your answer will be calculated as 12 plus A, capital A. What is the sky value of capital A? Is 65 and then 13. So here, this is 0 and 9 and children in these type of questions I would advise you that you first solve predict the output calculate what is coming and then check whether that option is present in the answer or not if it is one of the option then means you are doubly checking it it is present and you have also calculated the same thing so 90 is the correct answer for this we move on to the next question which of the following is not the valid access specifier Children, any your syllabus you have private, public and protected. These three access specifiers are there in your syllabus. 
So out of these four, which is the odd one out? Static, right? So static is not the excess specifier. Then select the correct output. A equals to 12, B equals to 29C. A greater than B. Let us write 12 is greater than 29. Is it true or false? It is false. That means the statement written after colon sign will be executed. So here it is written B plus plus. So B plus plus means 29 plus plus. So here which operator is used? Here it is post increment operator. In post increment operator what happens? First it uses the present value and after using that value the variable is updated. Right? So is me kya hoga? C will take the value 29. C ki value kya ho jayegi? 29 and after using 29, the value of B will be increased by 1. So, value of A, we are not doing anything here. It will remain 12. The space is there. Then you have the value of B. B, what is the value of B now? B will be 30. Is ne 29 store kia C may and as soon as it the value is used, it will become 30, then space will be there and the value of C is 29. Again, please check whether this option is present or not. 12, 30 and 29. This option is present. So this is our correct answer. Children, please be a little more careful. Do practice increment and decrement operators. Uh, for the calculations, one question will be definitely from this, right? Then next question, which of the following keyword is used to create an instance of a class? What is instance? Instance is also known as object or object is also known as instant, right? Now, all of you know how to create the scanner object. Scanner SC equals to new scanner. You write like that, right? And... Whenever you create any object in class programs you have done, in user-defined functions programs you have done, Hamesha hum kya use karte hai? Class name space object name equals to new. We write new. So which keyword? Always new keyword is used to create the object of a class. Or new keyword is used to allocate the memory space also, right? The question can be asked in any form, okay? Next question, constructors do not return any value. All of us, we know constructors never ever return any value. So, void is written with constructor name. Do we write void before the constructor name? No. Constructor is a function that does not have any return value, not even void. For rest of the functions, if they are not returning any value, always void is given like previously just now we discussed right but constructor is the only function which never ever return any value not even void so hence void is written with constructor name false right constructor does not have any return value next question the first letter of wrapper class name is always in dash case you have done wrapper classes character double integer float, all these wrapper classes you have done. So, the first letter of that wrapper class name, kis se start hota hai? Yes, uppercase, this, you can please check the library classes, wrapper classes for the explanation of this topic. The answer is uppercase. Har ek wrapper class ka first letter is always, always uppercase, right? The next question, which of the following is not a part of a looping construct? For obviously looping construct hai, continue, we can use continue within the loop, break also is used within the loop but close is not used in the loop, it is not a part of your syllabus as well, so the correct answer is close. Now we move on to question number 2, write a function prototype for function fun. So, sabse pehle hum kya likhenge? function ka naam likha, function name is fun. Now here always keep in mind, if it is in capital, you have to write in capital in upper case, if it is in lower case or mixed case. Howsoever it is written in the question exactly same you have to write, which accepts one integer. 
that means the parameters int a if name is not given you can take the variable name according to your choice and one double number and one more parameter it is taking as double type double b and does not return any value this function is not returning any value so what we have to write we have done three questions like this including this in this part right void if the function does not return any value always void is mentioned and always keep in mind whenever you are writing function prototype you will never put a semicolon here that will be wrong write only the return type function name and the parameters along with their data types right children question number two int ab equals to c what is the value of ab ab is a variable that is of integer type int type and c it it is trying to store a character but whenever we are talking about character and integers together then the sky value of that character will be stored what is the sky value of c small a is 97 b is 98 c is 99 so what will be the value of ab it will be 99 right uh, children here i would like to tell you that please learn the sky codes of capital a to capital z lowercase a to lowercase z 0 to 9 and of space these sky codes of these are very important please prepare this suppose this question is asked and you don't know the sky code of c then it will be difficult for you to give the answer right children we move on to the next question what is pure expression the answer says a pure arithmetic expression in java is an expression containing variables and constants of the same data type only and they are separated by arithmetical operators like plus minus multiplication symbol division and modulus here the, the example is written double x y z z equals to x plus y into y so x y z all three are of double data type so this is a pure expression right children say if i write int a equals to 5 comma b equals to 10 comma c and you write c equals to a slash 5 multiplied by 2 plus b so again here if you see a and b are of int type c is of int type 5 and 2 are also of integers so this type of expression where you are using all the variables and the constants of the same data type that is termed as pure expression right children next question write the java statements for the following create an array to hold 20 double type values right this is the declaration of the array so here the data type is already given we will be writing double a when array name is not given you can mention any array name a n num anything right equals to new and again the data type you will write here what is the size is 20 so this is your answer for a part whenever the two parts are there in any question then each part will be of one mark right children then assign the value 12.29 to the last element of the array now what will be the last element here a19 all of you know that the first array element is a0 at 0th subscript right so a19 will be the last element in this so it will be 12.29 right like this the questions can be asked so be prepared for everything then write the java expression for the following a equals to now children if you notice here data type is not mentioned so don't try to write any data type yourself only you have to write this mathematical expression into java expression so your answer will be a equals to square root sign is there under root sign is there for that we will be using math dot sqrt function and here you will be writing the numerator numerator is 2 multiplied by x in java you cannot assume like maths like 2x is there it will not be same in java you have to write 2 multiplication symbol 
x right plus x multiplied by x x square or you can use math.pow function also then you write the denominator y plus z this is the denominator we close the bracket and put a semicolon so like this you will be doing so children today i have taken the mixed bag of all the questions for section a preparation and next turn onwards i will be giving one program each in each part of the series right children and i request all of you to watch all the questions if you know any question just skip to that see the next question this is just the revision you are preparing for your exams and if you haven't subscribed the channel till now Please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get the notifications for all the videos and no important topic is missed by you. You may join us on our telegram channel also. The link is there in the description box. Keep practicing, keep working hard, keep revising the questions. God bless you children.